Hello everyone, Liz here at the Mix and Bowl Homestead. I hope you all are having a terrific week. I wanna show you today how to make this rice. Um, back home we call this green rice. I have just a handful of cilantro, um, three garlic cloves, and I have um, some green onions chopped up and a little piece of um, bell pepper. I also have, I have three bowls here. This is one cup of coconut milk, unsweetened coconut milk one cup of chicken stock and one and a half cups of water just plain water i also have a tablespoon of coconut oil salt garlic powder okay so i am using jasmine rice which is the long grain rice that i prefer the and what i store here in the house um, but you can use any other type of long grain rice okay so to my pan i'm going to go ahead and add my coconut oil so actually it's about two tablespoons of coconut oil. I think I said one tablespoon, but this is literally like two tablespoons. Okay, so our coconut oil is nice and melted. We're gonna add some of the rice. So I'm gonna add only maybe like half of the rice. And I'm gonna brown this rice in the coconut oil until it turns like golden brown. Okay. While our rice is browning, we're gonna go ahead and use this blender and we're gonna go ahead and blend all of our vegetables. Keep an eye on your rice, make sure it doesn't burn. Okay, and now we're going to add the um, chicken stock. And that's just to help it blend. I'm gonna go ahead and close it up and blend it. Okay, so that is nice and liquefied. So let's go ahead and turn our attention to our rice. You see the rice is starting to turn. It's starting to get like a golden brown color. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of our rice, our water, our coconut milk. And now we're going to go ahead and add our green mixture. You can add you can add half a teaspoon of garlic powder and half a teaspoon of onion powder and then i'm going to be using half one teaspoon of salt i'm going to mix all this together and when you're making jasmine rice for me the easiest way to know how much water to add to my rice is to always add one cup more so i have two and a half cups of rice I added three and a half cups of liquid, okay? And that is with the long grain rice. It absorbs more water. I'm going to allow this to completely dry out. Now you're gonna be tempted, because this is on high, you're gonna be tempted to get your spoon in there and start mixing. Don't do that, just let it be. Trust me, just let it be. <laughs> okay, as you can see, most of our liquid has already evaporated. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this to low 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 cover it and allow that to cook for 10 minutes now our 10 minutes are almost over we're gonna go ahead and use let me turn that off we're gonna use a fork to fluff oops sorry I think I just got the lens hold on let me clean you all up there <laughs> so we're gonna use our fork to fluff our rice okay this is the best part of the rice in Panama, we call this, the bottom part, con colon. I think Puerto Ricans call it pegado. That's the best part of the rice. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. <laughs> now to this rice, you can leave it like that, or you can add a little bit of lemon juice. I'm going to do just that. And I'm just using half a uh, lemon. It's supposed to be lime, but all I have is lemon. And I'm not even squeezing all of it out. I'm just using a little bit. This is what, this is the amount that I'm using. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it right on over. And then just give it a quick mix. And then your rice is done. 15 minutes. Best rice ever. Cover it up but do not you can cover it but allow some of the steam to come out 
and remove it from the heat and there's the green rice and here's our dinner you guys and this is my wonderful Panamanian green rice you can taste the cilantro you can taste the coconut I mean you just can taste everything it is just delicious and I served it with a chuck roast that I cook on my stove top. If you want to check that recipe, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it, uh, leave the link above, and also place it in the description below. Until next time, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you. It's my prayer for you. Y'all have a wonderful night.